I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to start cutting wood and see what happens. So I've got the little board I just cut out and the light actually seems to fit in pretty well. It's flush with the, uh, the top of the baseboard, I guess. So I'm thinking I'm just going to drill the pipe in here um, and see how that goes. Here's the coffee stand, um, kind of kind of done. It's kind of janky. The uh, the support for the little camera is a small rig. What do you call this? Super clamp to cold shoe adapter, and then cold shoe to three eighths or something that fits onto. It's a little ball joint that fits fits onto my camera. I wouldn't use it with heavier rigs. The camera itself is pretty light. Um, I still don't have a macro lens. I just ordered that, so hopefully that'll come in soon. Um, I was thinking about going with the vintage lens route with, I don't know, an adapter and finding a vintage macro lens, but the pricing is honestly not worth it, in my opinion, just to have extra clutter with the lens that I'll probably only use for this. So I got a, just the Sony um, lens, second hand. This is from Cameracraft. They offer open source modeling for this 3D printed, um, what do you call this, film guide. So it works great. It's a little light box that I had. Um, as you can see, with this little knob, the film is able to scroll pretty well. You also get the sprocket holes, which is nice if you want that. And yeah, overall, it was a fun project. and. I'm excited to see how it turns out when I got it hooked up to my computer and will actually be scanning my film. So here's the rig complete. I used duct tape to secure the film carrier where I wanted it to be so it's in line with the camera. I have it tethered and I just shoot off of my laptop and I save all the raw files on my computer then I'm able to convert them later in Lightroom Classic with Negative Lab Pro. Uh, it works out pretty well. The knob is on this side. I should have put it on this side, but I'm able to scroll through negatives. This is just some dummy film I've had. But yeah. So the rig works. I'm able to scan my film at a much higher resolution than I was previously able to, which is what I was going for. So I have no complaints. To be honest, I don't really care about having super duper sharp scans. None of the glass I'm shooting with anyways is that sharp. I don't really have very nice film cameras. And let's be honest, most of this is just for Instagram or memories. But uh, yeah, 
excited about this. It was a fun little project. Excited to be scanning film. And have a good one. Goodbye.